Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Vidyashree. In this video, I am going to discuss the reference books for Chemical Sciences Examination. I have already created a video on the preparation strategy for KSET 2023 examination in 55 days. If you have not watched that particular video on the preparation strategy in 55 days, you can watch the video by clicking on the i button that is appearing on the screen or you can watch the video by clicking on the link that's provided in the description box below this video. Without wasting time, let's directly start the video. Syllabus for KSE 2023 examination is now available in the official website of Karnataka Examination Authority. So if you compare the syllabus of the previous KSET examination as well as KSET 2023, there is no change in the syllabus with respect to paper 1 as well as the chemical sciences paper. Paper 1 syllabus is same as that of UGC NET examination syllabus and the syllabus of chemical sciences is same as that of UGC CSIR net examination of chemical sciences. So here I will be giving you the reference books for chemical sciences paper. We have inorganic chemistry. So here the first concept is chemical periodicity. Then we have structure and bonding in homo heteronuclear molecules including the shapes of molecule that is corresponding to the VSAPR theory. Then we have the concepts of acids and bases hard soft acid base concept non aqueous solvent then we have chemistry of main group elements and their compounds then we have transition elements and coordination compounds also we have inner transition elements then organometallic compounds cages and metal clusters analytical chemistry means the technique of separation spectroscopic techniques electro and thermoanalytical methods Bioinorganic chemistry. So the best books for bioinorganic chemistry is Ajay Kumar or you can refer bioinorganic chemistry by Asim K. Das. Then we have characterization of inorganic compounds means here basically it is the inorganic spectroscopic techniques. Then we have nuclear chemistry. Now coming to the reference books corresponding to the inorganic chemistry section. You can refer inorganic chemistry by James E. Hui for most of the syllabus from inorganic chemistry like coordination chemistry, chemical periodicity with respect to transition element and inner transition elements you can refer James E. Hui and for organometallic chemistry, coordination chemistry you can go for Ajay Kumar. Organometallic chemistry by Ajay Kumar or the coordination chemistry by Ajay Kumar is a good reference book. Then for lanthanides as well as actinides, you can refer Horscroft. Also, you can refer inorganic chemistry by Shivers and Atkins. Most of the topics are available in this book. And a very good reference book for organometallic chemistry, Crabtree as well as organometallic chemistry by B.D. Gupta. Then for lanthanides as well as actinides, you can also refer J.D. Lee. And for inorganic spectroscopy, you can refer the textbook by Drago. So all these are the good reference books for inorganic chemistry syllabus. Having a look into physical chemistry syllabus, we have the basic principles of quantum mechanics, approximate methods of quantum mechanics. Then we have atomic structure and spectroscopy, term symbols, many electron systems and asymmetric principle chemical bonding in diatomics and the concepts of molecular orbital theory, valence bond theories and Huckel molecular orbital theory for pi conjugated system. Then we have group theory. So that's taken under physical chemistry. Then we have molecular spectroscopy, chemical thermodynamics, statistical thermodynamics, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, colloids and surfaces, solid state, polymer chemistry and data analysis. Now coming into the reference books with respect to physical chemistry part. For chemical thermodynamics, you can refer physical chemistry, principles of physical chemistry by Puri Sharma Patanya or you can refer the textbook by K.L. Kapoor or you can refer the textbook by Atkins. Then for statistical thermodynamics, you can refer 
the textbook by Angel and Reed. So this is also a good textbook for chemical thermodynamics as well as kinetics. Then we have physical spectroscopy. So for all the concepts on physical spectroscopy, you can refer fundamentals of molecular spectroscopy by Banwell and Mekash. Coming to group theory. So you can refer chemical applications of group theory by F.A. Cotton or you can refer a book written by Vera Reddy. Simplest explanation that is provided in a textbook, a simple approach to group theory by S. Swanalakshmi. So either of these books you can refer for group theory. Then coming to chemical kinetics, you can refer principles of physical chemistry by Puri Sharma Bhathania or by K.L. Kapoor or even by Atkins. Quantum chemistry, you can refer the quantum chemistry textbook by Levin or Mercury. Then coming to solid state chemistry, you can refer Puri Sharma Patanya or the textbook by K.L. Kapoor. Same with respect to surface chemistry. It is either Puri Sharma Patanya or you can refer K.L. Kapoor. Then all other additional topics from physical chemistry part of chemical sciences syllabus, you can refer Puri Sharma Patanya textbook or K.L. Kapoor. Now let us move into the organic chemistry syllabus and let us see which are the books that you can refer. Organic chemistry, you have to study IUPAC nomenclature of organic molecules. Then you have stereochemistry, aromaticity, organic reactive intermediates, organic reaction mechanisms. Then you have common named reactions as well as the rearrangements that's included, organic transformations and reagents. Point number eight, you have the concept of organic synthesis, asymmetric synthesis, pericyclic reactions. Then you have heterocyclic chemistry. Then chemistry of natural products. Then you have organic spectroscopic techniques. Also you have provided some interdisciplinary topics where you have chemistry in nanoscience and technology, catalysis and green chemistry, medicinal chemistry, supramolecular chemistry and environmental chemistry. Now coming into the reference books for organic chemistry concepts. For organic spectroscopic techniques, you can refer introduction to organic spectroscopy by Pavia or you can refer spectroscopy of organic compounds by P.S. Kalsi. For pericyclic and photochemistry, you can refer Jagadamba Singh. For reaction mechanism, you can refer the textbook Modern Methods of Organic Chemistry by William Karuthas. For stereochemistry, you can refer stereochemistry of organic compounds and its application by Nasipuri. For natural compounds, you can refer O.P. Agarwal or the textbook by I.L. Finar. For heterocyclic chemistry, you can refer the textbook by Raj K. Bansar. And for the additional topics, you can refer organic chemistry by Clarin Greaves and Warren the second edition textbook you can refer. This is the list of standard reference books for the syllabus that is prescribed for KSET 2023 examination by Karnataka Examination Authority. I know you don't have enough time to go through all these standard reference books and prepare for the upcoming KSET 2023 examination. So my suggestion is that to have a basic understanding of all these concepts, you can study the chemistry textbook of class 11th and class 12th that is prescribed by NCRT. And if you have studied any of these concepts in your MSc, you can collect that notes and you can prepare from that. And meanwhile, you have platforms such as YouTube or in Google, you will get contents related to these syllabus. So to prepare quickly, for the upcoming examination, instead of sitting and referring all these standard books, you can adopt smart techniques such as referring YouTube videos or Google notes that is available or referring to your MSc notes. In the upcoming videos of the channel, you will get the contents related to paper 1 as well as the chemical sciences paper of KSA 2023 examination. I hope you will find this video helpful. If so, Please like the video and share this video among your friends and family. Do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos. I'll meet you in the next video with another topic. Stay connected, keep learning, take care, bye-bye.